In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make fuzzy texture inside of Inkscape. First you will need to create fast particle, then make it fuzzy, then create your shape you want to apply it, your fuzziness and then you will have this fantastic result. So let's get into that. So now I'm going to create the first particle. So I'm going to use star because it's kind of fuzzy shape and start with the this shape and now I'm going to apply gradients to it so I'm going to fill and stroke fill and radial gradient and let's try some blue color and the end should be white and I can add middle step to make it more interesting and full opacity something like this Okay, uh, for now I can do this, so I can show you one interesting effect you can do. And now I'm going to create a spline, which I'm going to apply this effect to. So I'm going to take a pencil tool and change smoothing to 50%. And for this case I'm going to use just random shape, but you can put it on text or inside the shape. So let's do this, I can turn on the fill and I can put on the stroke color, so I still can edit the shape and this looks fine. Okay, now I need to create a marker from this, uh, from this particle and for maximum uh, editability I'm going to group it first by ctrl G you can see it's in the group then I'm going to clone it and then you can see this is new object then I'm going to object object to marker now I can apply this marker to this stroke so let's go into stroke style into middle marker and add particle I created for some reason Inkscape doesn't show it, but it's here and there is a small little bug that it imports too big, so just change the size to 1 and 1, it will fit the stroke now. Now I can turn off the stroke, or I can keep it for now. So now it's this is in on the notes which are here which is not exactly what we need so let's go to live path effects and add roughen and now we can control how many clones are going to be on this path so i'm going to with some small bigger number which means less clones so let's go with the 30 but actually i can I can give more and I can turn off the stroke now. So, uh, and also I'm going to turn off the shifting notes. Uh, you can notice that you can also do interesting effects with this if you use, if you move your gradient and or, or also you can change it to linear and have interesting results with this uh, but this is not what I'm going for so I have my star and I'm going to change it to the star tool so it's here this and now I can bring this here and add more corners I can randomize it a little bit and now if I go here and change this to random and change this to 10 and 10 and maybe also this 10 you can see we have the particles in a random location and now you can tweak your your look by changing the size of this and the gradient you can add more corners to have it more fuzzy 
and you can have less particles or more particles by increasing this number number so if i go this is less and uh, i can give it more particles and i can make it more random um, yeah that's basically it um, you can tweak this shape but also you can tweak uh, the look of this so you can add even more spikes let's go 60 and uh, you can play with the look so maybe round it it doesn't look the best or you could even add effects to this star so you can go you can also still edit the colors and you can also make it more fuzzy by going here and adding roughen here and playing with these values so now you can see it's very fuzzy okay i don't want this for now and i'm going to show you how to fill the shape so I'll just use a stroke so you can create any shape in this case i'm going with circle and i'm going to convert it to the shape so it's easier to work with and now i'm going to add hedges which will add the strokes here i'm going to turn off the generating thickness and now you can see i can i can tweak how many how many strokes are in here or if it's bended and now i can just simply select this object copy it and go to select this object and go to path and path effect and then i can go to the edit past style now i have the shape filled with the fuzz nice thing about this this all of this is still editable so you can go here and make it less fuzzy or you can change the color So yeah, that's about it, I hope you liked it and enjoy!